this is the third time uh, this exhibition has uh, been on display. It's an excellent way for the public to connect with the SKA. Hopefully we'll be able to make the connections that, that the SKA's vision was about, which is bringing together art and science. It's the work of many, many people to try to get the artists the art and science coming together. The art is doing that work. And I'm pleased to be here. We've traveled a long way, Glenda and myself. And actually, I'd like to talk about two of our students. Shared Sky is an idea that was developed by the International Square Kilometer Array to bring together, for the first time, works of art by indigenous artists um, from Australia and from South Africa. Each of these paintings, each of these quilts, takes hundreds of hours, hun many hundreds of hours to put together. So it's a huge investment of time. Well, of course, the, the transformation of the fantastic Shared Sky exhibition. I'm one of the Yamaji artists from Geraldton Western Australia. I think it's very difficult for scientists and artists to work together. <laughs> so it's actually something quite unique that the SKA has done here, I think. They have a very rich connection to, uh, to the night sky at the site and we really wanted to explore that. I think it's a fantastic collaborative venture uh, across the Indian Ocean. Uh, and it is for the first time available in its, in its entirety at the Manchester Central Library in the heart of Manchester. The exhibition is available until the start of September and it's absolutely free so we really encourage people to, to go and visit it and, and enjoy those beautiful works of art and the stories that, that inspired them and that connect the two sites together just like the telescope does.